What's going on guys? My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a uh, part one of the wide body install on my friend's 2018 Ford Focus RS in the limited edition race red color. The wide body that we are doing is the battle arrow kit for the Focus ST that we are going to modify to fit the Ford Focus RS. Today we are going to be prepping the fenders and painting them so they're ready to be installed in the next video. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first step is going to be prepping the garage for the paint. So we got these plastic sheets from Home Depot, a 9 by 12 six pack right there. And we're just doing paint in the garage scaffolding. We got a sheet here, a sheet there, there, and a down sheet right there, and a sheet at the top. We got lights, and these are heated. So it's gonna make the paint the right temperature in your spray. I'm just gonna finish up. Okay, the homemade mini painting booth is complete. We hung all the painting sheets from Home Depot from the scaffolding for the garage. We've got our lights in there, also with the down sheet. It's fully enclosed. You should come in right here. All even the ceilings covered, the garage door. Now we're gonna hang some wires from the center scaffolding for the garage. And that's what we're going to use a wide body piece on. And so we just got some electrical wire that we're going to strip and use the inside of it to hang up the wide body piece on there. Because you never want to, you're going to get more particles on the pieces if you lay them down on the drop cloth and spray them like that because they're going to be a surface that stuff can land on. So if they're hanging vertical, it's going to be more difficult for stuff to land on. Painting is not a prep, and so we made this whole Painting booth, hang it up, and we're going to do the best we can. Okay, so now we're going to pre-drill the holes so when we paint, we don't uh, ruin the paint that we just did uh, drilling holes afterwards. We're going to pre-drill the holes so the paint settles. You just want to do the size, correct size for the hardware that you're using. Uh, Urban's going to be using these rivets. He's already measured it out for the right size for those. So we are going to pre-drill all the holes right now on Fenders. Okay, so the reason we're drilling two holes is basically we're making a pilot hole first so that the bigger bit can go in super easy after. Um, and that's just so you don't slip um, or anything. Or as so you call it, walk. So it doesn't hole. walk. Yeah. So it's not a hole first. And then Just 
I'll take your time. Slow. Make sure to do the pilot holes first and then do your bigger one. And just start slow. Don't rush it. You don't want to crack any of the nice rubber blocks that you just paid a bunch of money for. We've pre-drilled all the holes. We're gonna to come to our makeshift paint booth in the garage with our wiring hanging from the center of the garage thing, rail, scaffolding. And we're just hanging them through the top hole. See if they dangle. Again, because we don't want to have any particles land on the surface, or we try to minimize that best that we can. That's why we're hanging them vertically. Less chance of stuff to land on and sit. So we'll have them hanging, then we'll clean them up, and we'll be ready to paint. Just make sure that you don't fold over. If you are going to hang with wires, make sure that you don't fold over the wire so that it covers the surface, or else you'll have a line in your paint from the wire. So make sure that it's kind of bent out so you can come in and get a coat on the other side of the wire. And then just make sure you have even spacing between each piece that you're painting. Okay, now we're going to clean up the fenders using isopropyl alcohol and a rag, uh, just so we can get all the fiberglass particles off, so they don't get in the way when we're painting, and clean off any grease or fingerprints or anything. Uh, you can use degreaser, you know, whatever you want to use to clean them, soapy water and a rag. You just want the surface clean for painting. You know, prep is everything in this, so we're going to do the best that we can to get everything off. And so this is what we're going to use, isopropyl alcohol and a rag, clean them up. Okay, to minimize fingerprints, grease, anything getting on the fenders after we clean them, we are going to use gloves. You can use rubber gloves or you can just not use gloves at all, no worries. <laughs> we're going to try to minimize any possible oils or greases or anything from our getting on the wide body as we clean them. So now I'll just follow Urban around as he cleans them up. It's all the fiberglass off. Might not show up on camera, but after we pre-drilled all the holes, there's tons of little specks and stuff on there. And from handling them with your fingers, your fingers are going to have the oils, which is going to screw up the paint when you put down the first layer. I like how the back of this dries. Alright, so this is why you want to clean everything really good. This is what we pulled off with the ice purple alcohol and the rag. All that dirt and grime. Make sure you get that off. Okay, after cleaning up all the fenders, we're going to use a paper towel really quick because the microfiber towel left a little bit of lint behind. It got them super clean with the alcohol. We're just going to clean up any other little uh, particles from the rag. Like the little strands, just wipe them off with the paper towel so there's nothing on the surface at all. Now we're in the primer ready to go, shaking it up, make sure it goes over nice and easy, nice and easy coats. Even coats, nothing too dark, light mist. But I mean, we're not professional painters, so <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're doing.
goes layer number two. Light and even coats. I put the respirator mask on now because this thing is full of pain and smells amazing. Is this the last pair of primers? Maybe one more. One more after this. Everything's looking good, turning out great. Second coat of red, here we go. So we've been waiting about 30 minutes in between each coat to make sure everything dries super nice, no runs or anything. Make sure everything has enough time to cure and everything in between each coat. And we did about three coats of the um, primer and about, about four coats of the red and then finished off the clear. Third coat, here we go. Finished up the red coats in the paint booth. It's killing it. Garage paint job with rattle cans on the Ford Focus RS. Clear coat, here we go, first one. Looks so good in this way. It's pretty good. It's solid. Wow. Everything's pretty even too. Yeah. It's 
Sweet, happy with how it turned out. Yeah, no. It's dope. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. That has been the part one of the Ford Focus RS Battle Era wide body install. We just painted it today. Uh, the next video will be installing and cutting up the car and getting it all finished up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, this has been Thomas with TMWYT, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> you gotta like him. That's what a guy that just painted a wide body for his Focus RS looks like. Brown and in town. <laughs>